H&M clothing, Doc Martin boots, Everlane, and Veja sneakers. You asked for it, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Hey team, welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be doing something a little different than what we typically do on this channel. We are going to be doing a review slash ranking of the brands that you asked for. So I put out the call on Instagram a couple of days ago asking folks on the team what they wanted to see me talk about and review. Because here's the thing, I get a lot of messages from you asking me about insert blank brand. And the problem is, I don't have enough time or energy to make all of those videos. So today I wanted to do a bit of a batch style review and shakedown of some of the most requested brands that you had. This video is made in partnership with a Skillshare. They are an awesome online learning community that you can be a part of through the link down in the description. Before we get on with the video, I just want to kindly ask that you follow Leah and I on Instagram. It is the other platform that I work on the most because it has the largest community of people outside of YouTube for us. But now let's get into how this is all gonna work. So before I do any research into a brand to establish whether or not it's one that I want to support, first I establish whether or not I need that product. Once that's out of the way, this is how I go about figuring out whether or not brands are reliable, and this is how I'm going to be evaluating the brands that we talk about in this video. Number one, are they a publicly traded company? Two, what are other people saying about them? Three, do they have any sustainability promises or policies in place? Number four, do they have any third-party certifications? And five, do they design and build high-quality products? This last one's a little hard to evaluate because you might not have have access to the product to try it out for yourself, but there's a few clues that you can glean just from looking at stuff on the internet. You'll sort of get an idea of how this works as we go through all the brands, but let's hop to the computer and get into it. This is the new office space team. Leah and I work in here quite often. It's still a work in progress, but there will be a full video all about it coming soon on the channel. So all of these brands I'm going to be ranking on a one to 10 basis. One being, I would never in my life touch them. 10 being, this is the best company I have ever seen and I will be supporting them exclusively from now on. I don't really know if there's a brand that, that falls into the 10 category at this point. Starting with H&M. So with any publicly traded company like H&M, for example, I'm immediately skeptical of any claims they make. This is because a publicly traded company just by definition is there to make money for shareholders. When you have that structure above you, it's super easy to just go for the thing that will make you the most money, which is super sad. But let's see what the internet has said about them recently. One of the first places that I look for when trying to figure out if a brand is legit or not is Good On You. Good On You gives them a ranking of it's a start. Good On You is a great place to start just because they give you a nice broad overview of a particular brand that you might be interested in to know whether or not you should even keep looking at them. I also found a couple of articles debunking claims like how they're the number one ranking business on the transparency index, but basically that means that they disclose the most amount of information. It doesn't necessarily mean that what they're doing is actually ethical or sustainable. Heading over to their website though, it's very clear clear that they have put a lot of energy and effort into their sustainable marketing. It's right at the top of the homepage, as you can see. And I mean, it's encouraging to see that all of the pressure that people have put on H&M over the years to be better has actually resulted in them doing some stuff. I mean, Probably most of this is greenwashing, but at least it's a step. They have this thing called the conscious points system, which seems odd to me. The whole idea being that you buy through their conscious lineup and you get points, which act as discounts for you to buy more stuff. Their conscious lineup does have some new, more sustainable fabric. They claim that at least 50% of the materials used in this lineup are sustainably sourced, like 
organic cotton recycled polyester but in general this just seems like kind of the standard at this point like nothing they're doing here is particularly overwhelming or awesome now without b corp status or any kind of other third-party certifications h&m is basically just saying what you want to hear i mean probably some of these things are true for sure especially the ones about the fabric because you can actually see it on the label but but essentially this is like you turn in a test to the teacher and instead of them grading it you just tell Tell them that you got an A plus. Now, in terms of quality, I don't know. I've had some H and M products in the past, and they were pretty much garbage. So, I don't think we really need to go down that road, do we? No, I, I think we're good. H and M, you receive a solid 2.5 out of 10 on the scale. And the only reason you got that 0.5 is because you successfully succumbed to a bunch of peer pressure, and so you added more greenwashing to your site. Okay, Doc Martens. Now, I actually did a fair bit of digging into Doc Martens when I did my Birkenstocks video because I was considering them as a potential option for me. I was really looking for a welted sole boot that I could wear throughout the winter time that was both fashionable and functional. Um, and from that research, I decided not to buy from Doc Martens and we'll get into this. So yes, they are a publicly traded company and they're hoping to expand how publicly traded they are online uh there is a fair amount of drama around doc martens right now um it gets a not good enough ranking on the good on you app and then i did some googling and i found that basically a lot of people are pissed over the declining quality standards of these boots over the years people are mad about all of the outsourcing of their production to places like China. And so they actually create a specific lineup of boots in the UK, which is where the product was originally based. Like, I don't understand, like if you're a business and people are telling you that they don't want or like the quality of the products that you made because of a choice you make, why not just do it the right way in the first place. So on their websites, they do have a lot of sustainable policies and plans in place, which is impressive. They've created a statement outlining their efforts to prevent modern slavery, and they've done so for the last four years, which is kind of impressive. I haven't seen that many places. They also have a statement on their homepage that talks about supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. So they do have some things that they talk about, but unfortunately, they are not a registered B Corp. They are not certified climate neutral. They're not a 1% for the planet member, which is not totally surprising. They do have a supply chain monitoring system, um, but these things are always kind of hard to know for sure how they work. For regular people like you and me, it's very difficult to know for sure what's going on without that B Corp registration. But are Doc Martens a high quality boot that you should buy and wear? Um, it doesn't seem like it anymore. I think at one point the Doc Martens style was very timeless. Uh, it has a welted sole still to this day, which is really great for repairability, as I've mentioned in previous videos. And leather, like it or not, for my vegan friends on the channel, uh, is a really long lasting, sturdy material that helps shoes last a long time. So those things are good but as i mentioned before it sounds like their stuff's been getting worse over time so personally i wouldn't buy them doc martens gets a five out of ten because they are a legacy company and they make a decent product that should last a long time as long as you buy the right ones i guess and that brings us to everlane so a bunch of you asked for an everlane review but i guess a lot of you didn't follow Step number two, which is to see what people are saying on the internet, because if you Googled my name and Everlane, you'd see that I made a full video about them already. So, um, a little offended, honestly. The video that I made about them was from a couple of years ago, so things might be a little out of date, but I thought I'd do a little update here right now. The Good On You website gives them a not good enough, which is not great for a company that claims to be sustainable and radically transparent. Their improvements seem to be mostly in the materials, which is a good thing. Um, they're nearly there with their goal to reach 100% recycled plastics and they've embraced organic cotton finally, but that's basically an industry standard at that point. I think Shell Bizzle even mentioned this. It's like, dude, you call yourself a sustainable ethical company and 
like up until recently you weren't using organic cotton like come on from what i can see on here they strangely haven't changed their tone very much considering the backlash that came out against them if you want to see more about them uh, and what they're doing and whatnot you should definitely watch my full video which is linked down below in the description everlane gets a four out of ten because in my experience their clothes are higher quality than absolute fast fashion but a lot of their claims are overblown but in the meantime i'm going to tell you about this amazing sponsorship from skillshare now, everything has an impact on the planet, but skills and knowledge are things that you can use to help make the world a better place. And that's why I'm stoked that Skillshare is sponsoring this video. If you don't already know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community. You can explore new skills or deepen existing passions that you already have. Maybe you wanna try baking bread like Leah has been. Like friggin' seriously, look at this bread. <laughs> You might think that going out and buying that new pair of shoes is going to make you happy, but, but learning a skill that you can grow and build upon over the years is going to be so much more rewarding. Maybe it is baking and you wanna try your hand at sourdough. Well, there happens to be a Skillshare course for that. But it doesn't just have to be a hobby, it could be something professional that you're hoping to expand on to build your career down the road. There's an awesome filmmaking course that teaches you how to make videos with your phone and honestly, that's all you need nowadays to start making content online. So for the first thousand people who go down to the description, you will get a free premium Skillshare membership trial and it's only 10 bucks a month after that anyway. Our last brand that we're going to talk about today is Veja Sneakers. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. If I am wrong, please let me know. I would love to be corrected on that. Veja is not a publicly traded company, but it has a lot of hype surrounding their shoes. Like the internet freaking loves these things. They sort of remind me of Allbirds and Kariuma and these sort of like startup scale, big brands that are starting to come out now. They are very fashionable. They have cool, uh, style and honestly I like them like looking at the stuff on their website I'm like yeah I, I, I fuck with it for sure on their website um, they do have a lot of information about how they manage um, their supply chain and everything it's you know similarly in depth to probably other brands like i'm not going to say that they have convinced me just based on what they've presented on their page but one thing i did really like is their honesty on the website they have a whole section basically where they talk about their failures and there's something about that honesty when it comes to a brand presenting their objectives and their mission statement on their website like that level of honesty is is rare sadly in our super capitalist consumerist culture brands want to pr project strength and when a brand is willing to kind of be like yeah look we got work to do like we're not perfect that's just refreshing honestly good on you gives them a rating of good which is nice to see I feel like if your branding is overtly sustainable like this, a good is like absolutely the minimum of what you should be getting. But on top of this, they are a registered B corporation, which is really great to see. Honestly, the strictness of the B Corp registration process is part of the reason why it exists. Like you and me want to know that the thing that we're buying actually props up all the claims that are made about it. So now whether or not this product is good or high quality is yet to be seen because obviously I don't have a pair of in front of me. But here's the thing about sneakers. I talked about this in my last Allbirds video um, where I reviewed my Allbirds after having them for two years. Sneakers aren't meant to last. They're built to be kind of single use. They don't have repairability in mind. That completely solid sole that's made out of rubber can't be replaced easily. You're not gonna pull that off and put a new sole on. You're not gonna be able to like shave down the heel and build it back up with new rubber. It's sadly a system that doesn't really encourage long lasting products. I'm sure you can clean these shoes. I mean, probably not as well as Allbirds, for example, but 
I think for what it is, with that in mind, it's it's a good option. If you need sneakers and you want sneakers and you like this particular style, they're gonna be better than buying Adidas. Veja gets a 6.5 out of 10 because they made a cool product that I even kind of want to buy that is made with quality standards in place that are backed by a B Corp registration. Okay, so team, that was the first of what has been a uh, review and ranking style video on this channel. I don't know if you liked it. I don't know if you're down for it, but let me know down in the comments. I appreciate all of your support. Um, and if you want to support this channel and be a part of it more into the future, you can support us on Patreon. Uh, on there, we do giveaways. We have behind the scenes content, uh, exclusive Patreon only content as well. So um, yeah, hit us up over there. And regardless of all of that, I want to thank you for being here. And of course, if you are subscribed, then we will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.